wish I weren't so alone. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Bolt by Sphero. Basically what you do is you have this ball, you have a phone, and using a couple of Sphero apps, you control the ball with your phone. You're learning coding, you're interfacing with technology, and there's all sorts of levels and layers that get more and more geeky and complicated. There's actually two apps. There's Sphero Play, which like its name is just for fun, and Sphero EDU, which is more focused on learning how to code. Scanning, hold your robot close to your device. Oh, it's already connected. Oh, so this is the um, Sphero Play app. So there's a lot of different modes for driving. There's kick, scream drive, tilt, slingshot, joystick. Let's do tilt. So tilt your device to drive. I mean, I don't even know how this works. I just think it's dope. Okay, then there's kick, which is really cool. Flick to kick, tap to trap, and curve to swerve. Kick, tap. I kicked a little bit too hard. I get that thing then. The app also comes with a bunch of games too. Exile 2 is a cool Galaga game. Oh. To orient a ball so the blue light is facing you because that orients the whole thing. Nope, game over. I was never good at that. So this is like the fun weekend bolt by Sphero, but there's also Sphero EDU, which is an app that's meant to teach your kids and you how to code. This is what a code looks like. You have blocks of code and you can code things like movement, lights, sounds, controls, operators. You can program it by doing, by drawing, by doing blocks, which is what I've been doing in traditional text coding. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna start with is I want the light to be um, pink. It starts off pink. Then it's gonna go for a walk for two seconds. So I think I did the best thing that I've ever done. I've written a bit of code, the first code I've ever written using a robot ball, and I wanna share it with you. I call this piece wishful thinking. I just can't take this anymore. But I do love you. I'm freaking out. What should I do? Joshua, you are a good person. I'll never leave you. So I'm usually pretty skeptical about Steam toys like this. Oftentimes they're not constructed very well, the app integration isn't very good, and for kids, even eight-year-olds, they tend to be really complicated. One of the things that struck me though about the Bolt by Sphero is it's, first of all, very sturdy. Second of all, the app is really intuitive. For the Sphero Play app, you're not doing text motions or anything, you're just using your finger, and there's so many modes of driving that it actually is fun. I think anyone can understand that. But what really blew me away was the Sphero EDU app. The way they use the block uh, commands for coding is super intuitive, and the actions that they allow you to make are really fun, as you can tell. It's $149, which again, is pricey, but if you're gonna invest in a sort of coding Steam toy, I think this has a pretty good argument going for it. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure you follow Fatherly Reviews for other cool reviews of Steam toys and non-Steam toys and just whatever else. I hope you had a ball.